Hey guys, this is Subhash Ismishra, your test coach. Today we will learn a Java program to find all subsets of a string. Okay, so first thing we need to understand what is subset of a string. So the subset of a string is the character or the group of characters that are present inside the string. So here you can see one example. If cat is a string, then different subsets of this string will be C, A, T, then C A, A T and C A T. So you need to find all these possible subsets through a Java program. So there is a formula. So to find how many subsets you will have. So you can use n into n plus 1 divided by 2. So here if you will see we are using the word cat. So whose length is 3. So if you will take this example then it will be 3 into 3 plus 1 which is 4 3 into 4 equal to 12 divided by 2 which is equal to 6 so here how many subsets we can see we can see 1 2 3 4 5 6 so this is the formula you can use to find how many subsets you can have right so let's jump to our eclipse and see how can we do this through a java program let me create a new class so this is our class and we will name it as all subsets you can give any name okay public static void main then what we will do we will take a new string okay so i am taking string str equal to we will take the same example so here i am taking cat okay you can take a big string also but for our understanding i'm taking a small string okay then we'll find the length of this string so we know to find the length what we can do str dot length function we can use the length function it will find the length of the string right then what we can do we can take another variable of type integer and we can assign value zero to it okay we'll see why we are we have taken this and where we will use this uh, variable okay then what you can do you can take one array of string so string array equal to new string here what you can do here i have told you the formula right n into n plus 1 divided by 2 so the length whatever you are uh, going to take for this array right so you need to give that one so how many subsets you want basically we are going to store all these strings in a array okay which is uh, type is string so what we are going to do we are finding this length which is n in our example which i showed you right so what you can do here you can write len then into len plus 1 okay divided by 2 okay fine so we have one array now okay now what you can do you have to write two for loops okay so let me write it for int i equal to 0 then i is less than length okay then i plus plus okay then inside that one more uh, for loop you can write for int j equal to i i will explain you what we are writing here then j is less than what you can say length len then j plus plus okay then here it is the important thing important thing what we are going to do right so you can write array you have to assign the values to the array right whatever array we have taken so what i am going to do here first array of temp okay so temp value is equal to 0 so in the first position what i am going to do i am going to assign something so here what i will do this is the 
string right so the string dot i will use soft string okay so soft string you know we use to we can give the index from where we want to start and from where we want to end so we'll take that particular thing so here i'll give i and here i'll give j plus one i'll explain it again so you will able to understand it properly then you can write it temp plus plus okay fine then what you can do you can print the things right so just write a sys out statement okay and maybe here i can write all subsets for the given string okay then here you just write a simple for loop for int i equal to 0 i is less than array dot length then i plus plus again you can write a sysout statement and here you can write array of i i'll explain all these things don't worry okay here it should be zero okay let me print it and let's see whether we are getting the correct result okay so here we can see we are getting c c a c a t a a t and t so let's see how we are getting it right so i have told you right we have taken one string is cat and then we have uh, taken the length which is getting the length so maybe i can print the length of the string so length of the string is plus len so let me print that also So length of the string is 3 okay so we got len equal to 3 then we have taken one additional variable of type integer temp and we have assigned 0 to it okay uh, we, we will be using it here i will explain it when it will come here okay for now just remember we have taken one additional variable temp and assigned 0 to it then what we are doing here here we have uh, taken one array of string and we have uh, the size right so here we are declaring the size so to get the size what you can do just to show you i can do this sys out okay size of the array is Okay, I can do this. So let's run and see. So you can see size of the array is 6. Okay, so we have taken an array of size 6. Okay, then we are writing a for loop. So what we are doing here for int i equal to 0. Okay, so first value we are taking as 0 then we are telling i is less than length so i is less than length length value is equal to 3 so 0 is less than 3 then i plus plus we are coming inside so here what i can do i can put i is equal to 0 then here j equal to i so we are telling j value is equal to i so j is also 0 okay j is less than length fine j is less than 3 0 is less than 3 fine j plus plus here we are telling array of temp in array what is the temp value temp value is equal to 0 so we want to put something in the 0th value array of 0 that's why we have taken i have told you right i will tell you when we will use it so here we are using it so temp value is equal to 0 so in array of 0 in array 0th position what we are going to put string str so str is nothing but cat str dot substring so we are finding the substring from this string right 
सो वी आर टेलिंग दिस इज द बिगनिंग पोजिशन सो आई वैल्यू इज इक्वल टू जीरो देन जे प्लस वन जे वैल्यू इज इक्वल टू वन सो वॉट वी आर गेटिंग हियर दिस वैल्यू सो इट वी कैम फर्स्ट जीरो पोजिशन वॉट वी कट वी कट सी ओके देन वी आर टेलिंग टेम प्लस प्लस ओके एंड द लूप इज गोइंग अप एंड नाउ जे वैल्यू आई वैल्यू इज स्टिल जीरो वी आर हियर नाउ एंड जे वैल्यू इज इक्वल टू वन वन इज लेस देन थ्री सो वी आर वी आर कमिंग हियर एंड वॉट वी आर टेलिंग सो अलियर द टेम वैल्यू इज इक्वल टू जीरो नाउ टेम वैल्यू इज इक्वल टू वन इन आर ए ऑफ वन वॉट वी आर गोइंग टू पुट स्ट्रिंग डॉट सब स्ट्रिंग सो आई वैल्यू इज स्टिल जीरो एंड जे प्लस वन सो जे वैल्यू इज इक्वल टू ऑलरेडी वन नाउ राइट सो वन प्लस वन विच इज टू सो वॉट वी आर गोइंग टू पुट वी आर गोइंग टू पुट हियर जीरो एंड वन टू राइट सो वी आर गोइंग टू पुट सी ए राइट देन वॉट वी आर गोइंग टू डू टेन प्लस टेन प्लस प्लस राइट सो टेन वैल्यू इज इंक्रीजिंग नाउ वी आर स्टिल हियर नाउ जे वैल्यू इज इक्वल टू टू सो टू इज लेस देन थ्री विच इज फाइन देन वी आर कमिंग इन साइड एंड हियर आई विल पुट टू नाउ स्टिल आई वैल्यू इक्वल टू इन आर ए ऑफ फर्स्ट वी गॉट जीरो देन वन नाउ टू सो आर ए ऑफ टू इन द सेकेंड पोजिशन वॉट वी आर गोइंग टू पुट स्ट्रिंग डॉट सब स्ट्रिंग सो आई वैल्यू इज इक्वल टू जीरो एंड जे वैल्यू इज इक्वल टू टू जीरो वन टू सो सी ए टी सो वॉट वी गॉट सी ए टी राइट देन टेन प्लस प्लस वी आर गोइंग हियर नाउ जे वैल्यू इज इक्वल टू थ्री थ्री इज नॉट लेस देन इक्वल टू थ्री सो कंडीशन फेल्ड विल नॉट गो हियर विल गो हियर नाउ टू दी फर्स्ट वन सो नाउ आई वैल्यू इज इक्वल टू वन फाइन वन इज लेस देन इक्वल टू थ्री i plus plus we are coming inside now what happens here uh, j is equal to i so i value is equal to sorry j value is equal to 1 now okay 1 is less than equal to length which is fine length value is 3 now here what is happening r of temp equal to string dot sub string of i and j plus 1 so this is the start of the index and it is the end of the index so i value is equal to 1 and j value is equal to One plus one equal to two. So here, what we'll get? We'll get a, right? Then we'll go here, and uh, j value will will be two. J value will increase, and j value will be two. So two is less than three. Fine. Then we'll come here, and what will be the value here? It is a and t, right? Now. We'll go here, and j value is, will be three. So three is less than three. No condition will not match. Okay, then it will come down, and again it will go up. And here the i value will be two. Okay, so when i value equal to two, then j value is also equal to two. Right now, r of temp equal to string dot sub string i and j plus one. So two and two plus one equal to three. So what we'll get t. So here we will get three t. Okay. Then finally, uh, this will go here, and again the i value will be. And here, uh, okay. Uh, when this j loop will uh, again execute, right? Then j value is three. So this condition will not match. So i loop will execute again. Here also condition will not match. So it will stop here. So what we got here? C C A C A T A A T and T. Then finally, what we are doing here, we are printing those values, right? So just we have uh, what we have done, whatever we have taken here, right? Array uh, to this array, whatever we have assigned, then we are getting the length of it, and finally we are just printing with a for loop. For int i equal to zero, we are starting from zero. Array dot length i plus plus system dot out print ln array of i array of zero value in the zero value. What is there? C is there, right? What we have seen here, C. Then uh, I will will increase in the first uh, one position. It will be C A. That's what we have seen here, C A. Then C A T. Then A A T and T. So that's how it will work. So 
if you just want to see one more thing so just if i'll put for example test okay let's see how it is working ranach java application so here you can see length of the string is 4 and size of the array is 10 then all subsets will be t t e t e s t e s t e e s e s t s s t and t you will see this also 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 so total 10 substrings we got right so this is how you can find uh, substring uh, subsets of a string right thank you if you have any questions please let me know in the comment section i'll try to explain it please like share and subscribe to my channel